Hey, I'm Ross. Welcome to Deku Digest, your weekly series about movies and shows available on Deku, the only streaming service dedicated to gay men. This week, let's talk about Teenage Kicks, Rough Trade, and Concerned Citizen. You can watch any of these right now on our YouTube Primetime channel. First up, Teenage Kicks. This shitbox. <laughs> it's, uh, my shitbox. We go for a ride? It doesn't go yet. Dad's gonna get it up and going when he wakes up. It's a birthday present. What a piece of shit. Yeah, he's just jealous, dick. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. It's our escape. Oh, fucker. Don't you fucking dare. Hey. Don't you fucking dare. Hey. Don't you fucking dare. Hey, hey! Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to fucking sleep! I'm the one that's a fucking work all night, remember? <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> In the final moments of his 17th year, Meek's whole world will come crashing down. His plans to run away and escape the hold of his migrant family have been brutally undone by the accidental death of his older brother. Only Meek knows the events that led to this tragedy, and as far as he can see, there is only one person to blame, himself. He's suddenly torn between his desire to head north and start a new life with his best friend and secret crush Dan, and the sense of obligation he has to his broken family. Can he fill the shoes of his adored sibling, or is he somehow inherently toxic and destined to bring ruin upon everyone he loves? Featuring exceptionally brave performances from lead actors Miles Santo and Daniel Weber, Teenage Kicks is a bold and unflinching coming-of-age drama. Directed by the award-winning Australian filmmaker Craig Borham, the film takes viewers on a sweat-soaked journey through the minefield of adolescence as Meek searches for a way through his guilt and explosive sexual awakening to find the man he's meant to be. Next up, Rough Trade. Drew Lind, the writer-director behind the sexually charged 2018 queer thriller M.M., 
first made a splash on the international film festival scene back in 2014 with this dialogue-free 17-minute mindbender. The visually inventive Rough Trade stars Matt O'Connor as a nameless sex worker credited only as The Stud. With long hair and angelic beauty, he spends his nights cruising neon-lit streets looking for potential clients. When he's picked up by a mysterious man with a fetish for branding, he realizes that he's about to embark on a particularly challenging date. Welcome into a cult-like community full of similarly young and handsome leather-clad men, he must decide whether to go back to the streets or start a whole new life within this potentially dangerous underworld. Evoking the films of David Lynch, Lind leaves much to the viewer's imagination, but teases us with just enough provocative imagery to keep our eyes glued to the screen. Finally, Concerned Citizen. Wow. ההומלסים, הנרקומנים, הפליטים, נשבר הלב. מישהו מת. תבוא לברלין. נהיה שם גם כן ועד בית ביחד. Shlomi Bertinotov and Ariel Wolf star in Concerned Citizen as Ben and Raz, a young, attractive, and financially secure gay couple living in an up-and-coming neighborhood in Tel Aviv. When Ben plants a new sapling on the street outside of their apartment, his ever-so-subtle act of gentrification leads to a tragic series of events for the refugees living in the building. Winner of the Best Screenplay Prize at the Jerusalem Film Festival, Israeli director Idan Hagwell's film is a morally complex, refreshingly smart dark comedy about personal responsibility and the uneasy balance between assuming the identity of a concerned citizenry and the adoption of a victim complex. Concerned Citizen is a challenging, satirical parable for our times, with themes as relevant to contemporary Tel Aviv as any large city in the world. Have you seen these films? Let us know in the comments what you thought, or look us up on Letterboxd, where you can connect with other queer cinema lovers and rate all your favorite gay movies. If you haven't seen them, watch them wherever you can find Deku. Sign up for a free trial to get access to hundreds of queer films, including these recent releases. Deku adds at least three gay movies every week on top of its extensive catalog of classics and new films, so please, like and subscribe to our channel and join us next week for another new edition of Deku Digest.